In this video, we are going to explore a fantastic resource that's out there, and it's free for you to use, called Estimation 180. Now, the whole idea of this activity is to get you to develop your own understanding of how to essentially estimate heights, weights, or even the number of lollies in a jar. So, let's cut to the intro. Well hey, my name's Tom. Now I've been using this activity within my classes for the last couple of years now and the kids cannot get enough of it. And what it's called is it's Estimation 180 and it's actually a website developed by a man named Andrew Stadel. And we'll go through to it now and you can actually find the link to it in the description below and it's also written up here. It's www.estimation180.com. Very easy to remember. All right, so as you can see, when you first get into it, you're gonna to get to a page that looks like this. Now, there's actually, there was originally meant to be just 180 days, but we've actually got more than that now. As you can see, we've actually got up to 220 days. So if you did one of these every day that you're at school or something along those lines, you'd have over one half a year of work to actually go through and do. And it's just a fun little activity that you can use. So for example, if I come now down to days one to 20, it's best to go through them in order because the previous days will help out with answering the later days. So if I go to days one to 20, you can see here at day one, it says, what is Mr. Stadel's height? So I'm gonna click on that. And you'll see when it opens up, it says, what is Mr. Stadel's height? And the whole idea is for you to go through and determine what Mr. Stadel's height is. But you're not just determining his height, you're actually coming up with what is the value that's too low, what is the value that's too high, and what is your estimate? So for example, I might think that the value that's too low, mm, I think he's gonna be taller than a meter, so I would put in one meter. If I thought for too high, well, I don't know anyone that's 2.5 meters, so I probably put in 2.5 meters. And then what is his height? Well, I know that this here is probably about a meter, and if I doubled that, it's probably gonna be about here, so I reckon it's gonna be just below two meters. So if I said maybe 1.9 meters, 1.89 meters, then that would probably be what I put in for my estimate. And you guys would obviously go through and do this as well and write down your answers for what is too low, what is too high, and what is just right. And also, it's worth giving some reasoning as well, some, so, so be able to justify why you put down those answers because that will help you in terms of getting a more accurate response. Now, if you do that and you can submit it, then that will go into a Google form that will give him some more information, but you can always just do it on a piece of paper. That's not really uh, neither here nor there. Once you think you've got all three of them, what you can then do is you can click on the answer. And if we have a look, you can see that he is 1.93 meters. So I said 1.89, I was pretty close. Or if you're talking in terms of feet, it's, he's six feet four. Now, if I get out of this one, you can see that I can actually come to day two. So if I go to day two, it then says, what is Mrs. Stadel's height? And this is why I said it's good to start off at the lower numbers, so day one, then work your way through, because to know Mrs. Stadel's height, or to come up with Mrs. Stadel's height, you'll need to have some idea of what Mr. Stadel is, and that might actually give you an answer for what is too high. And then you might wanna come up with an answer for what is too low. All right, now if we think about that, well, we know Mr. Stadel's height is 1.93. What's too low? Well, she's not a meter shorter than Mr. Stadel, so probably 93 centimeters would be too low. And then what is just right? Well, you then go through and come up with your own answer for that. And like I said, you've got 220 days. Now, it's not all just about heights. You've got a number of lollies in a jar. You've got fractions. You've got absolutely everything that you could ever imagine that you could possibly want to estimate as well. And it's a great game because what I find is when you play it more and more, you really get involved in it and you want to try and get as close to the answer as possible. All right guys, so thank you very much for tuning in and having a look at Estimation 180. Now, if you have enjoyed learning about this, make sure you click on the link above here because I'll actually take you through to the way that I would use it as a teacher and how you can extend this as well and the different types of things to think about too. And of course, if you have liked this and if you wanna keep in touch with Mass Pathway and what we're doing, make sure you click on like, subscribe and comment in the section below as well so that way we can actually take on your ideas and create videos about the types of things that you would like to see. So, my name's been Tom Moore. Thanks for tuning in.